In 1948, Denora, Pennsylvania, a small mill town, housed 14,000 residents, many who worked at one of the local industrial plants. But the town's very livelihood would be its ultimate terror during the final week of October 1948. The two plants in Denora, the American Steel and Wire and the Denora Zinc Works, were both owned by U.S. Steel and had been operating for years. So the town was no stranger to smoke pouring into the sky. But little did the people know, the gases were highly toxic. Everything from sulfuric acid to nitrogen dioxide to fluorine. Usually, those gases would clear within hours. But on October 27, 1948, the smog rolled in and submerged the town for five straight days, testing the limits of the people to their livelihood. The smog killed 20, sickened a third of the town, and for some, left a lifetime of health problems. The deadly smog cleared Denora on October 31, 1948, but the damage was done. The nation saw the worst of what air pollution can do to its people. That weakened Denora, pushed local and state agencies to enact pollution laws, and eventually, the federal government followed suit and passed the Clean Air Act in 1970, limiting emissions entering our air.